Welcome back to the Kelloland High School Basketball Preview Show. T area claimed its second Class A Boys Basketball Championship in three years last season, but graduated a pair of All-State players in Noah Friedel and Justin Hone. The Titans opened the season outside the top five in the Class A Prep Media Poll, where St. Thomas Moore is number one. Sioux Falls Christian, Del Rapids, Lenox, and Sioux Valley round out the top five. St. Thomas Moore lost to Lennox in the State A quarterfinals last March, but closed the season with consecutive wins, claiming the consolation championship. The Cavaliers returned their entire starting five, including a pair of players that averaged nearly 17 points per game in Caden Casey and the extremely versatile Ryder Kirsch. He sees the floor really well, passes, um, and, and he can score. So inside, outside. So, uh, you know, we're going to rely heavily on Ryder. I'd say I'm pretty versatile. I mean, I can kind of, I can post up or I can play on the perimeter, but I feel like I can just do whatever the team needs me to do. Kirsch and company open the season Friday at Chamberlain. Del Rapids finished sixth at the State A tournament last March and returns four starters that averaged at least 10 points per game, led by Logan Ellingson's 12 and a half points per outing. The Quarriers aren't short on talent, but head coach Jason Fursdahl says the road back to state starts at practice. We have pretty high expectations for the year, but it, it starts every day in practice. And we've got younger kids that are going to push our older kids um, and some of our guys with the returning varsity experience. So for us, it's going to start every day in practice, building individually, building as a team. Uh, we want to play our best basketball. We sure love to be back in that state tournament and, and be playing Saturday night for the title. Our uh, chemistry has to be there a little bit more. Uh, just knowing e each other's roles and being great in your role. The Quarriers open the season Friday at West Central. T area claimed the second championship in program history last season, beating Sioux Falls Christian 68-57 in the finals. The Titans then graduated nine seniors and lost their head coach. Drew Weber is the team's new bench boss, and despite an overhauled roster, will rely on depth this winter. We have a lot of depth. Uh, uh, they're young, uh, a little inexperienced, but we have 10 or 11 guys right now that I think uh, we could count on if this was uh, the first game of the year. And uh, hopefully we can even build on that depth a little stronger um, throughout uh, freshmen through seniors. The defending state champs open the regular season Friday at Dakota Valley. The Clark Willow Lake boys claim their first state basketball championship, knocking off to Smith in the Class B title game. After spending the last two years in Class B, the Cyclones are back in Class A. And along with moving up a class, Jerome Neshim's team will have to replace four starters and need to fill the void left by standout Jacob Prouty. You're going to have to uh, make up that pr production with a bunch of guys. I mean, you, there's not one guy that's going to replace Jacob Prouty. Uh, it's going to take a, a group of guys. You know, we have three or four guards that can step in and, and shoot the ball well. I think we're a better shooting team than we were last year. It's just going to take more guys than just one now. The Cyclones begin their season on Saturday at Sioux Valley. Winner is the reigning Class A girls basketball champion, but shares the top spot in the prep media poll with Lennox. St. Thomas Moore, Sioux Falls Christian, and West Central stand three through five, respectively. Winner capped an undefeated season with its first ever championship last March, beating West Central 60-53 in the finals. Warriors returned two starters, but plenty of talent, including two-time All-State selection Morgan Hammerbeck and All-State sophomore guard Bella Swedlin. A lot of potential there. She's really improved and knows that uh, she can't do it by herself, and she has to rely on her teammates. And, you know, we got some really good girls that surround her. But, uh, yeah, for only being a, a sophomore, very talented, a lot of drive there. So that's good to have. Swedeland and the Warriors start their season Friday against Wagner. Lennox finished the 2019 season with a third place finish at the state tournament. The Orioles returned three starters, including four year starter Rihanna Philippi and five year starter Madison Vlaschen. Vlaschen has been a leader for the Orioles and continues to prove herself as one of the top players in the state. She spent a lot of time in the gym. Really good player. Um, she's really motivated. So, and she's picked it up a lot here this first week. Um, she, she, she's a winner, so she's going to do what she can to um, help the team win. The Orioles start the season Friday against Sioux Falls Christian. 
St. Thomas More saw its quest for a sixth straight Class A championship come to an end in last winter's state quarterfinals. Cavaliers returned their entire starting five, including junior guard Haley Timmer, who averaged more than 21 points and seven rebounds per game last season. I'm excited where we're at, and, and I guess the good thing is, is that the girls are not. They, they want to get back to where we've been. So uh, this summer I was pleased with the effort that we put in and, and uh, you know, definitely looking forward to the season. Candlin and company opened the regular season Saturday against Belle Fouche. Mount Vernon Plankinton nearly knocked off top ranked West Central in the state quarterfinals last year as the Titans settled for seventh at the Class A state tournament. MVP lost two of its top contributors to graduation but returned leading scorer Caitlin Briggs and eighth grader Emily Fox, who averaged more than nine points and three assists a year ago. Emily handles herself well. She, she plays with a great composure. She steps on the floor and you know everyone just calms down when she gets the ball in her hands. She, she sees the floor, she uh, opens things up down low for us. A great shooter, can create her own shot. So really excited to see her grow this year. The Titans open their season at Gregory on Friday. Two classes down, one to go. We'll preview Class B boys and girls basketball next.